Welcome to Sunrise Serenades, featuring the Compton Heights Concert Band. Last week we featured part one of Porgy and Bess. This week we're going to feature part two. You'll recall in part one, we gave you a glimpse of the nightlife in Catfish Row, which started with the laid-back summertime, and then we got into the crap game with Crown, where he kills Robbins over a very minor matter, and Crown, of course, was Bess's boyfriend at that time. And the whole community pours out in grief, uh, there's the gone, 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 and wonderful tune, and it ends with the spiritual heading for the promised land. And then in Act Two, we have Porgy and Bess getting together for the first time. Porgy has convinced Bess to live with him, and he sings the joyful tune, I Got Plenty of Nothing. And then, meanwhile, Sporting Life's always lurking in the background, comes forward, tries to lure Bess with some happy dust, or dope, as we explained last week, to Kittawa Island for the picnic. Bess spurns his offer, and Porgy intervenes, and both of them, Bess and Porgy, then profess their love for each other in Bess, you is my woman now. Summertime and winter time. 
beautiful duet by Bob Ellison and Beverly Stewart Ellison. I know what you mean. It was just gorgeous. And I bet there's a beautiful idea waiting for you in Kitty's Kitchen, a recipe from the band's cookbook, Cooking to Beat the Band. Good morning and welcome to Kitty's Kitchen. This morning we're featuring a recipe from the band's cookbook, Cooking to Beat the Band, that was submitted to the cookbook by an attorney who I worked with some time ago. Chuck Ferguson. So Chuck, if you're watching the show, this one's for you. The recipe he submitted was Grandfather Russell's cornbread. And it's a great recipe because you put the bacon in the, an iron skillet and um, I saved the bacon because the recipe doesn't call for the bacon in the recipe. And add the cornmeal and the flour and all the rest of the ingredients with Maybe it would help if I mix that up a little bit. One egg and some buttermilk. Pour that in with your dry mixture. And then, this is hot because it was in the oven at 450 degrees. Pouring the bacon grease that was heated in here, in which I cooked the bacon as well in the oven. And I'm going to mix that all up. I don't use my um, iron skillet very often, but this is the perfect recipe for something like this. So Chuck, I'm sure glad you gave us this recipe. And I know it's great because I made one the other day. Shouldn't have used that. Have to remember that's hot. So once you've mixed everything together, Pour it back in the same skillet in which you browned the bacon and used the uh, bacon grease. And actually, probably, this recipe would uh, do a little bit better, maybe, or at least the cornbread would look a little bit more substantial if it were in a smaller kettle, because I know it didn't um, get very high, but I guess it doesn't really matter as long as it tastes good. So I just spread it along in there, around in there. 
put it in a 450 degree oven for about 20 minutes. And here's one I did earlier. And actually, I think the top of the bread isn't as interesting, the cornbread isn't as interesting as the bottom, so I just kind of like flipped it over so that we have the dark bottom part um, on the top here. A little bit of butter, and you're all ready for Grandfather Russell's cornbread. Thanks, Chuck. And that's it from Kitty's Kitchen. See you again next week. If you'd like to obtain a copy of the Cooking to Beat the Band cookbook featured in Kitty's Kitchen, call the band office at 776-2227. Be performing music from around the world and taping this performance for future broadcast on Sunrise Serenades. Look for us on the Hello Dolly Wagon. The parade kicks off at Bush Stadium at 11 a.m. and then proceeds down Broadway to Historic Soulard. For more information, call the band office at 776-2227. That's right, the band's going to be in the Mardi Gras parade this year on the Hello Dolly Wagon pulled by three horses. It's going to be a lot of fun, so don't miss it. And if you want more information on the parade, a great place to go is the Thrifty Nickel. It's an all-classified paper that you can pick up. It's free anywhere you go in the St. Louis area. It has lots of details on the parade. It even has the parade route. So go get a thrifty nickel. You can get them anywhere. They're free. It's a wonderful all-classified journal that you can get anytime in this area. And now we're going to go back to more of Porgy and Bess. Back at Catfish Row, the residents are preparing to go to Kittawa Island for a picnic and some partying. Ah, the joys of being free to enjoy themselves are obvious through the lyrics of I can't sit down and I ain't got no shame. Sounds like a good time to me. <laughs>
goes on wildly with singing and dancing and all kinds of misbehaving. The happiness is blunted by the suggestion of who else but sport and life that the happy dust is available for a time when the celebrants at the picnic need a fix, a little lift to keep them high and happy. <sighs> Oh, it just seems that there are plenty of examples from history and from the Bible to convince anyone that it ain't necessarily so. It ain't necessarily so. The things that you're liable to read in that Bible, it ain't necessarily so. Whoa, 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 whoa. Little David was small, but oh my. Little David was small, but oh my. Now he fought big Goliath, who lay down and died. Little David. Was small, but oh my! What I said, Bamboo, who you know I die? Scotty, why? Yeah. Oh, Jonah, he lived in the whale. Oh, Jonah, he lived in the whale. For he that fish is at dome and oh Jonah, he lived in the whale. Little Moses was found in a stream. Little Moses was found in a stream. Now he floated on water till old Pharaoh's daughter, she fished him, she says, from that stream. They tell all you chillins, the devil's a villain, but tain't necessarily so. To get into heaven, don't snap for a seven. Live clean and don't have no fall. Look at me. Oh, I takes that gospel whenever it's possible, but we Methuselah lived 900 years. But who calls that living when no girl are given to no man was 900 years? Now I'm preaching this sermon to show. people from Catfish Row will have no part of it. It seems that the impressionable Bess is less skeptical and is almost ready to succumb to the wily sporting life. Especially when he suggests that New York is only a boat ride away. Well, it seems true love always finds a way. And Porgy and Bess are no exceptions to this. Despite numerous complicating factors and obstacles, the prospect of being together surpasses all stumbling blocks. And Porgy resolves that he is on his way. <laughs>
There's a boat that's leaving soon for New York. Come with me. That's where we belong, sister. You and me can live that a high life in New York. Come with me. There you can go wrong, sister. I'll buy you the swellest mansion. On up, up for Fifth Avenue Through Harlem we'll go strutting We'll go a strutting And there'll be nothing too good for you I'll buy you some silks and satins In the latest Paris style All your troubles You'll be forgetting, and there'll be no fretting, just nothing but smiles. Come along with me, that's the place. Come along, come along, come along. Dr. Doris Jones Wilson, director. Stephanie Williams, our narrator. Robert Ellison, Corgi. Beverly Stewart Anderson, Bass. Edward Goldbashian, director. 
Usher of the Compton Heights Concert Band. Thanks for watching Sunrise Serenades, and we want to thank everybody who participated in Porgy and Bess. It was a beautiful production, and everyone contributed and in their own way, and it was just terrific. And we also want to remind you to tune in next week again for Sunrise Serenade every Saturday at 5.30 on KMLB, Channel 4, CBS Affiliate. We'll see you then. To find out more about the Compton Heights Concert Band, you can visit us online at chband.org. It's all there. History, concerts and events, products and services. There's even information on how to join the band. If you're not a musician and you would still like to show your support, you can become a member of the bandwagon. Hop on. Log on to the Compton Hikes Concert Band's website today at chband.org. You'll be glad you did.